Now tonight's big story, a woman stands accused of stealing a tow truck and leading police on a long chase. And new tonight, she tells her side of the story, but as Joe Chieto reports, police aren't buying it. Sitting in jail, Jennifer Malone Chambers admits to me she did the crime, stealing a tow truck in Council Bluffs and leading police on a chase to Omaha, all while on meth. I wish I could go back and do things differently. I wouldn't have gotten in that truck. And I wouldn't have been around the people that I was around. But she says police have the story wrong. I'm not the monster that I'm being made out to be. She says she was doing it to escape the man she was with, Robert Taylor. She says he's abusive. I was in harm's way with somebody and I just did it to, to flee. But police say the two were actually working together. They say the pair lured the tow truck driver here to this case he's in Council Bluffs. Once he got here, they tricked him into entering the store and then Chambers came over to the tow truck, got in and then took off. I didn't call him there, I didn't lure him there. He just happened to be the one that had a vehicle running there right then. Police say Taylor followed Chambers on his motorcycle. She almost hit a car head on here at 10th Street in Omaha and then drove several hundred feet the wrong direction to get on I-480 in Iowa, all in an attempt to escape police. I did throw his phone out the window because I figured they would find me. Both suspects did get far, but police eventually caught them, putting them both behind bars. I'm just sorry about the whole situation. I, I, if I would have been in my right frame of mind, and into the right circumstances of, you know, the person that I really am, there's no way I would have acted like that. And the tow truck driver says that inside his truck was actually a handgun and money. But when police located it, they didn't find it. They say Malone Chambers ditched that handgun and the money, but she too denies that. Reporting live with photographer Christian Shampoo, I'm Joe Chiotto, WWT6 News. Both suspects are charged with conspiracy and theft of the tow truck, and because of that gun, Chambers is also charged with felon in possession of a firearm.